Okay, this is the city fill connection. This is where you hook up if you have a um, pressurized water system from your park. Uh, most state parks do not have um, a pressurized water. You have to fill the tank and take your own water with you. If you have the fresh water connection, you just hook it right up here. Acts just like your house. You have the pressurized water coming in, turn your faucet on, turn your faucet off. Works just like at home. If you are in a state park or some place that you have to take your own water, you're going to need to fill the tank. On this model, before you leave where you're going to be going, make sure that you hook your city water up here. Inside this compartment there's a set of valves around the water pump. Um, some models are under cabinets, inside cabinets, in the coach. Uh, this particular model happens to be right here in the storage compartment. There's a hose like this that is dead ended. This you can put this hose into a five gallon bucket or a 20 gallons or whatever you happen to have for a container. You can actually put this in here, you can turn your pump on and you can suck water from a jug to refill your tank when you're remote camping or if you're hooked up to the city connection before you leave and you're filling your tank, you simply turn these valves to the appropriate positions. On this one, this one needs to be closed, which is crossways across the line is closed, in line with the line is open. So your coach should come with a set of instructions to let you know which way they go. If you're not sure then you'll just have to try different things on your particular model and get it to fill the way you need it to fill. Now on this model you can see there's this is the fresh it says on here fresh water connection and you need to be careful with this because on some models they have a tank flush for flushing out the toilet sewer tank. Both of these valves on the outside of the coach look very very similar but the label next to it will say for tank sanitizing or city water fresh water connection make sure you don't hook up to the wrong one because if you connect your city water connection to the sewer flush you'll fill that tank with water and it will overflow and it'll flood your coach so you always want to make sure you're connected to the right one if you have the tank flush system and this is this is what I was talking about. This one says city water connection up here on the top and this one says sewer tank flush. They look identical. In fact, they are identical. So you have to make sure that you're connected to the right one. If you connect to this and you leave that water running for any length of time without the valve under here being open to let that water out, the tank underneath this trailer can possibly crack, rupture, break, uh, leak, flood the bottom of your coach, cause you know water damage to the floor, to the underbelly, all the insulation underneath. It can cause a big, big mess. So always, always be sure as to which connection you're hooked to on the outside of your coach.